welcome everyone to Beyond Kung Fu's channel. Today we're going to be learning how to tie-dye some simple cloth reusable bags. Any fabric dye will work, but we thought we would test out this kit called the Tulip One Step Tie-Dye Kit. We got this from a local craft supply store. This kit comes with 12 colors, enough for 36 projects, some plastic gloves, plastic sheet to protect your working surface, 40 elastic bands, and detailed instructions. A few things to note here. Make sure to cover your surface. We used the plastic sheet provided in the kit and rolled out some paper towel to absorb any spills. We also pulled out a tray and a grill to use to catch any unwanted dye. And also grab some plastic bags to hold our projects when they're completed. And last but not least, wear protective clothing and your plastic gloves. Next, prepare your dye. Remove the lid and fill with water. Put the lid back on and give a good shake. Once you do this, you have 72 hours to use the dye. Repeat until you have all bottles full. There are two methods to tie dye, the wet or dry method. We went with the wet method, which means we washed all of our fabric in cold water with a little detergent. This removed any sizing from the fabric. It's an extra step, but we heard the dye applies better to wet fabric, so why not? There are lots of ways to tie the fabric. We wanted to try a swirl pattern for this one. To do this, we found where we wanted the center of the swirl to be, in this case, in the center of the bag. Once we figured this out, we just started twisting the bag. Once you do this, do your best to create some neat folds in the fabric. Keep circling until all the fabric is wound around itself. For bags, I just took the straps and wrapped them around the outside. It ends up looking like a donut. Next, take some elastic bands and wrap around the outer edge. This holds it nice and tight. We also placed a couple more horizontally and vertically. This helped to create four sections for our die, but you could create as many as you want. Once the wrapping was complete, we moved over to our rack and started by squirting the die on the first section. We repeated this process for the other three sections. Make sure to flip it over and do the same colors on the other side. We really saturated the fabric, but take care to not spray too close to the other colors or it will bleed too much. It is good to note too many colors in one spot will come out muddy. Next, take your project and place in a plastic bag. This is to keep it wet as you have to leave it for six to eight hours. Once the time is up, we are going to rinse the fabric. Start by removing the elastics and unwrap the fabric. Do your best to remove any excess dye. You can tell if your water is clear. I added all of my rinsed bags back into the washing machine. I placed them on bulky cycle, again in cold water to prevent the fabric from shrinking or the dye from bleeding. When the wash was done, we hung them outside to dry since it was such a nice day. Now we didn't have any drying racks, so we just improvised. After ironing all the bags, we added another step by sewing on some fabric labels. This was done with a simple straight stitch on all four sides. Now you can skip this step, but it added a personalized touch. My sewing skills are minimal at best, so if I can do it, anyone can.
On to our finished bags. As you can see, there really is no right or wrong here. And you are only limited by your own creativity. So get out those colors and give tie-dye a try. Thanks for joining our Beyond Kung Fu how-to session today. Hope you enjoyed enough to like and share.